Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from St Peter's Brewery and it's the India Pale Ale 5.5% ABV. Looking forward to trying this one. I'm very much into my India Pale Ales at the moment, um, especially from America. It's also, it's very, very good to see, to gauge how good the British are at trying to, to get back to their old ways. Because the British invented this style of beer. It's just, it's been picked up um, and spiced up a lot by the Americans. Um, they put a fantastic, stronger ABV to it. And now the Brits are trying to really catch on to this style. So, without further ado, uh, just quickly, I, I, I really like, this is a St. Peter's bottle, normally they like the uh, the medicine bottle, like this one here. But this one's actually a round bottle. So, the Pale Ale's in a round bottle, which I really like the style. I like the, the way the bottle's been made, St. Peter's Brewery written on there all the way around. And I just, I just like the, I know the bottle doesn't mean anything, it, it means next to nothing to a beer, but the way this beer is packaged and marketed is fantastic. There's no seams on the, on the bottle, it's just a seamless, it looks like it's been made in one mould. Right, let's get it open, let's give it, give it a drink. That is, I don't know if you can see the neck, it's a green bottle and in the nose it's slightly skunky. Unfortunately it's slightly skunky. I think it's a fresh bottle because the date on this to go off is the 2nd of November 2011. It's only February. So there's a good seven months. Um, aging on this beer before it goes off so unfortunately it looks like the green bottle curse has come back to strike again but there we go you never know it might taste absolutely fantastic it may not taste skunky at all but look at that now it's like an aluminous yellow a luminous green bottle going on there. What happens with, with green bottles in, is that they let in too much light. Um, I found this out over the last year from reviewing from different reviewers and different beer reviews I've watched. I think some people might even like Heineken in a bottle. Um, they don't even realise it but they like Heineken in a bottle because of its skunkiness. But unfortunately this is even smelling from here, it does smell incredibly skunky. Unfortunately, but there we go. I am a beer reviewer, I have to be honest. I'm using my Vailical Morgan glass today. So, what we getting? Two finger head. Bit of carbonation going on in the glass. It's ambery in colour. It smells nothing like the IPAs I've been drinking recently or even the pale ales. It doesn't really smell citrusy at all. All I'm getting is just massive amounts of skunk. That's very unfortunate, but let's dig in. Now that's a weird, weird taste. You do get the hints of citrus. You do get the feel that this beer, when it was made fresh in the cask or, or the the word that it tasted awesome. 
But then they ruined it and put it in green bottles. Mmm. Um, not really enjoying this at all, if I'm honest. Um, the citrus, uh, the the citrus hops, the the lemony grass taste just infuses, just mixes in oh, with the massive amounts of skunk. The, it is very skunky, and it's all one big mishmash. I'm afraid. I was really looking forward to this beer. I thought it was going to be another cracking IPA. It's, it's incredibly tangy. Almost to the point where I want to pull my eyeballs out. Mmm. I've got to have a rest from this a minute. I've drunken well over half a pint. I need to take my breath. Let this settle. Let this go down. I'm just going to read to you what's on the bottle. Um, I've never had a bad beer from St. Peter's. Um, if it's the batch, I apologise to St. Peter's, but it's more than likely it's this really light green, yellowy bottle that they're using. Um, Okay, originally produced to quench the thirst of British troops in the 1800s, traditionally highly hopped and robust to survive the long voyage to the Indian subcontinent. The result is a full-bodied pale ale with a zesty character. Zesty and skunky, I'd say. The headquarters of St. Peter's Brewery is situated in a medieval hall in a remote and beautiful corner of Suffolk, St. Peter's Hall. The centrepiece of the site is a half moated large house with the earliest parts of the property dating back to the 12, 1280. It was extended in 1539 when the east wing was built with existential salvage from the nearby Flixton Priory which had been closed by King Henry VIII at the time of the dissolution of the Monasteries two years previously. St. Peter's Brewery, St. Peter's Hall, Burnley, Suffolk, and there's a postcode there as well. If you want to get in contact with these breweries, I promise you a lot of their beers are absolutely fantastic. The Ruby Red Ale, um, I've reviewed uh, the Cream Stout, which is very nice. There's a few of the bottles there, I've got the whole range to review. Don't take it on this, the review. It may be just, I don't know, that they've tried and unfortunately fail with this one but <coughs> try the rest of their range I really probably wouldn't buy this again but it's www.stpetersbrewery.co.uk if you want to get in touch with them okay we always finish a pint on the real ale guide so here we go let's get back to this pint let's see if we can we can get something else let's really give this a good whirl get our noses in Try and be as fair as we can. To be honest, with a big, big whirl, really getting these aromas out, I can just, I do get that zesty, grapefruity smell. But unfortunately, it is it is mixed in with this, with massive, I, I, it's hard to explain, but this massive, massive amount of skunk in this. It's very, very skunky. Think Heineken or Grolsch or any of that garbage and double it. That's how skunky this beer is. Right, rating. I'm going to rate this. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be the lowest. Um, I, I did a drain pull before when I pulled a beer down the sink. Um, that was a beer from Wales, what, uh, Baggy Wrinkle. 
but this is unfortunately next in line. This gets a three. This all this only gets a three out of ten from the real L guys. It's just I don't know if you can see my cheek. I I can't let my cheeks go down. It's like it's holding on my mouth funny. It's it's bringing loads of saliva into my into my mouth, um, nearly making me drool. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. If you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me on Twitter, Real Ale Today. Uh, Facebook is Real Ale Guide. Uh, email me at Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. But most of all, I want to hear your comments on this. It'd be very, very interesting to see what you think of this. Or if anybody's bought this St. Peter's India Pale Ale in the past, whether they've had an absolutely fresh bottle, they've kept it in the dark, um, it's a good beer. Or whether you've had the same experience that I've had where it's been incredibly skunky. What happens is again, I know I'm repeating myself, but the beer lets in too much light with these light bottles. And it just doesn't keep well in the bottle. Okay. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I apologise to St. Peter's Brewery because they did send me this range. But I have to be honest. Um, till the next review. Cheers.